Hello and welcome to the Shatters, the freshest thing on testing. I have to say up front, this dungeon is nowhere near completion. This is a preview build so that the devs can adjust things a little bit at a time. So please keep in mind everything you see here is subject to change. To start out, the design is quite appealing and it reminds me of Act 3 of Diablo 2, both in layout and its gloomy art style. For the moment, there are areas where you can see that the island is just a big square and the bridge to the first boss is pretty much devoid of any decorations. Everything beyond the bridge I won't mention, because I really think it's just incomplete at the moment. Now for the action part. The first section is filled with two kinds of enemies, the stone statues that summon hordes of minions and a bunch of random mages which if you are not careful or if you don't notice them can hurt you pretty bad. The statues are very sneaky in design, they spawn a lot of mediocre minions which have quite a bit of life so if you try and clear first you will be doing it indefinitely. The point here is to try and ignore the minions as much as you can and focus your fire on the statue. This pack brings us a new status effect, unstable. While unstable your character just shoots in random directions which is more annoying than dangerous. There are two things that inflict unstable. The pointy stars that the statues shoot in every direction and the huge shuriken. To avoid the omnidirectional shots just search for the cone in which they miss. The boss does not target with these shots. The shurikens are targeted but they have a smart hitbox so you just have to strafe left and right. The mages are nothing to worry about if you spot them. They do some damage and cause multiple status effects. The only way that they can be a threat is if you don't notice them and they sneak in with a bunch of statue minions. I will repeat myself but the graphics here are splendid. The ambient really pours you in and that's great. 10 out of 10 for the part up to the bridge wall. The only downside to this part is that it's rushable and it's sad because it's my favorite part so far. Now for the bridge. At the moment the wall is blocked so the only way you can get over it is either if you lag through it or if you have a teleporting class with the group. Once you get over the wall there is a long bridge to the first boss. It has a pretty generous length and that's very good because there are two ways to do the boss now. First is to get a massive group and steamroll it. The second is, well, a completely different story. The boss, after it takes a certain amount of damage, spawns hell, literally. It spawns 4 statues that spawn multiple melee minions which do a fairly decent amount of damage. To add to this, the main boss throws multiple blobs that explode in all directions. But there is an amazing mechanic here. There is a new status effect, the darkness, that is shot by the summoned statues. At first, it just looks like a more annoying version of blind. But it's a completely different thing. What does it do you ask? Well, everything that's outside that annoying white bubble does not exist. If you get hit by that status effect, only what you see can hurt you, meaning that only what's in melee range can do damage. This is genius because you actually have to use this effect to put in damage and retreat. It gives you both a nice exit strategy and gives you extra time to heal. In my opinion this is a brilliant mechanic and it is completely new to realm. I for one enjoyed it very much once I figured out how it worked. Now to get back to the boss. While the statues are on the map, the main boss is immune to damage, so you must destroy this first before you can attack the boss again. The boss has another summoning phase in which he calls out a few of the weaker statues found in the first part of the dungeon. They seem to be bugged now, because if you run back until they vanish from the screen, they are gone so this phase is very fast to skip. After the first boss is defeated, the next segment is open. From here on, there are only a few small bridges and islands which are filled with minions you have already encountered. And then the dungeon just ends. Also these parts have no decorations at all. So now I'll just end the video here because I got disconnected from this run in a few moments anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video, more will come once they give us more. So if you want to follow the game's progress with me, then feel free to subscribe. If not, I'm happy you stayed this far into the video. Have fun and defend the Nexus.